So this alliance that the children are making with Big Sis Chrome, um, seems pretty legit. You know, they both want something out of this big burg here, and the children want to escape all together. With no one getting harmed, getting caught, no one being sent off to for harvest, they all want to escape without being washed out by the monsters. Now, this will really benefit them, especially with working together with Sister Chrome, because she herself wants to become new mama. We all know that. She wants to take the place of the old mama, Isabel, and live a peaceful life, the life she wishes to live. And by that happening, it could ruin the reputation of Isabel, and therefore Chrome just come in right out of nowhere and take the position of mom for her. So it works out for both parties. But of course, once again, you have to pick into consideration. Could it be the fact that Isabel already knows what's going on? She she must have her there for a reason, not just to watch the children, but for her to slip up. She knows that Chrome is the type of person that will try to betray her, so more than likely she's hoping, I bet that she's hoping, that Chrome will work with the children and slip up. And therefore, she'll have enough evidence to know who is going after her. So when she knows who is going after her, she'll be able to identify them and stop the problem immediately. So that's probably what Isabel is thinking right now. Because she isn't dumb. She is the oldest one in the place, and plus she has been doing this for a long time. Now speaking of the sisters and mother position, turns out only women are allowed to live long enough. If you are able to score a high enough uh, certain percentage score on the test and you live above 12 years old, you have two options to continue and you'll someday be harvest or you can get a higher rank in a higher place. Such as you can become a sister or then you'll be promoted to a mother. So you went from orphan to sister to mother. I guess how the system goes. I guess there's no orphan brother or father. It's just, and of course, there's also grandmother as well. So there's that as well. But we have yet to really see Grandma, but just know that she's the one that everyone listens to, and, and that's how it is. Now, even though know you are high-ranking, you still don't get a chance to see the outside world. In fact, when you become a higher rank, you have a bigger responsibility, and so, of course, you'll have more surveillance onto you. Okay, you start as an orphan, you have the tracking device in your left ear. But when you become a sister and a mother, you have a tracking device planted with inside you. So the minute you die, they'll know. The minute you try to escape, it will go off. So you're basically screwed. You have no chance of freedom. So the best thing you can do is make life work for you. So I can understand Chrome's, um her motives in a way. She knows she can't have nowhere to go. She can't go to the outside world. She's doomed. She is trapped. So she might as well make life the best outfit, you know, might as well make it the best. And by doing that is by reading the highest position and doing what she wants. She doesn't want to work under people no more, I guess. She wants to be the top dog, the one that's guiding people to love the children and stuff like that. Between you and me, I think she'll make an excellent mom. Well, besides the fact that all the moms pretty much dish the children out for harvest and nothing can be done about that. That's something they accept in life and to see as an everyday ordinary thing is survival of the fittest. So that being said, I think Chrome would make an excellent mom, in my opinion. She's so lovely and she's goofy. She'd be creepy at times. I mean, really creepy. Like, this woman knows how to make some nightmare fuel facial expressions. Because, my God. Like, staring at her when she's doing the creepy stuff. And that doll of hers. I never really liked dolls. When I was a kid, I couldn't stand baby dolls. I couldn't stand Chinese glass dolls, for God's sakes. So staring at that thing brought back some serious past bad memories I thought I buried deep in my brain. But no, they're still there. They're still there, haunting me. That being said, Ray got himself a little camera where he will use for some way to get out of, to get the tracking device out of their ear. How they'll do that, I still don't know. So then with the final piece is with um, Isabel in a letter. Crummy receives a letter and she says it's goodbye. I'm betting she has what she wants from Chrome, 
or she has no further use for her. So she probably, one, it could be a trap. Or two, it could be, congratulations, you've been promoted to mother, but within another plantation. So, yeah, she'll get what she wants, but will be somewhere else, and no one will have to get hurt. And I would make a good deal for Chrome. And Chrome won't spill no one else. I like that or anything else like that. So it makes more sense for her to take that deal. If that is the deal, I could be wrong. Like I said, it could be a trap or it could be a deal to get her a mother position so she can get her out the way. It could be any of those. That being said, we still know. Now, once again, Lil Phil. That little kid, just, just randomly, just, just, he's just there. He just always seems to be there at the right moments. At the certain coincidental time. Every single time, that creepy little kid is there. Full of wide-eyed and creepy-ass smile. You know, a lot of people might see it as adorable. I see it as, that child loves some. He ain't up to no good. This is all I'm saying. I don't trust that child, you know. He's mentioned too many times. He's showed too many times in the show for not being a main character, but yet to get some, you know, hidden spotlight, I would say, out of nowhere. You know, they talk about his scores, how he's good at it, how he's good at tag, and how he just appears out of nowhere. Like, no one can sense this kid's presence. Gets up some. Could he be mom's secret spy? I bet so. He has to be, man. I don't know. I don't trust that freaking kid. Anyway, that's all I got for this episode. Um, not much really goes on in Private Neverland because they like to hold attention really there to perfectly execute what's going on. So your mind will be flustered on many other things. But instead, you'll be focused on that one scene, and that one particular problem that they're going through through that episode. So therefore, you have more suspense within the show, you know? And suspense is something we don't get much out of with anime, hell, with any kind of TV show recently. Except for Netflix, they've been doing some good job with scary stuff. But nonetheless, not much in Japan. We need more thriller, psychological stuff like this. And I would appreciate it more. So anyway, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. And of course, hit that bell icon so you get notified. Nightcrawl Anime, signing out.